Good evening. I'm Gail Searins. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. A jail inmate claims he made beer runs, bought drugs, and had sex with women while he was supposed to be on a work detail. And new tonight, perhaps the most alarming part of his story, he got help from the officers assigned to watch him. It's an 8 on Your Side exclusive. News Channel 8's Candace McCowan joins us now live from Pasco County, where she spoke with that inmate, Jason Adams, just a few hours ago. Good evening, Keith. This is Jason Adams' first time speaking out about this. I also spoke with Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nocco. He didn't deny Adams' story, but did say that his escapes shouldn't have happened. It was more like a, a big scheme than anything. And handcuffs, wearing stripes. It's how you expect a prisoner to look. But 27-year-old Jason Adams, who was serving time in the Department of Corrections custody for the past year, was living the life of a free man. Were you the only one? No. Adams was on a work detail in September when he walked away and didn't return. He was later captured. Days later, this video of him walking away in August was uncovered. But Adams tells me there are at least five other times he left work detail. And each time, Adams claims the correction officer turned his head. Do you think that Officer Blackwelder knew that you were walking away and going to these gas stations? Yeah, of course. Instead of prisoner, he was a hustler, walking away to buy items to sell behind bars. Cards of cigarettes. Up to chewing tobacco, uh, roll of paper. Using clothes he put in a bag at the work site. He bought food and took prearranged trips. In the vehicle with people leaving. Purchasing narcotics? Um, not only just purchasing narcotics, but um, just hanging out with females. You're hanging out with these females, you're having sex with them? Yes. And where was the corrections officer? The guard had no problem with this. Was this something you discussed with him? I mean, see, there's only so much I can say, you know. Well, Sheriff Nako also told me tonight that that corrections officer who has since resigned was absolutely incompetent. He also told me that they're casting a wide net and that they continue to look into this. They're not going to charge anyone unless they can prove that evidence in court, Keith. And Candace, we want to be clear. We're not sharing Jason Adams' story here to make him a media star. He's a career criminal, a lot of burglary in his past, and he's going to be in jail another five years. But reporting on his antics should bring about some change for the better, you would think. And now he's even concerned about his own safety. He did tell me that he was concerned about his safety as he heads back into Department of Corrections custody. He fears that some of the corrections officers might retaliate against him. Keith. What a story he's telling. More to come on this one. Thank you. Candace McCowan reporting live in Pasco County.